Hello, welcome to the one and only place where you've got a diesel engine specialist of 20 years experience giving you videos on how to repair your modern diesel engine. Hello and welcome to today's video. As you can see, I'm working on a 2015 Nissan Cab Star. Now the Nissan Cab Star pretty much has the same engine, well, same engine code but the engine blocks are different than the Navara and the Pathfinder but it's still a 2.5 and this particular vehicle came in with the coolant pressurizing the system now the owner of this vehicle had done the water pump on the thermostat they brought before they brought it to me and obviously it was still pressurizing the coolant system so i've gone ahead and i've done uh, a fit a brand new cylinder head and obviously the gaskets and bolts but being an engine specialist you've got to get to the cause of why it was pressurizing now this particular vehicle if i'd have just done the cylinder head and give it back to the customer I can guarantee we'll have actually cooked again within a matter of months because the actual cause of the actual uh, failure of the engine actually started with the fuel injectors so again I fit new injectors into the, into this vehicle but it's not just the injectors the injectors block the DPF so <laughs> the DPF is what's caused the three things together have all caused the fault of this car now ignoring any one of them would cause further problems in the future. So that's what we're all about, is avoiding warranty claims for the future and making sure that we think we fix things correctly. And that's why I mentioned to you in my last video about remapping and not remapping, as you know. So if I'd have remapped this vehicle, again, this is still blocked. So it still would have cut the engine. So remapping would have been just a total waste of time. And then once you've remapped, to replace it you've potentially got to replace the ecu so i've had the dpf off and i've had it sent out to a, a dry clean system which which has a flow test now you can leave all the sensors in for as long as it passes the flow test if it doesn't pass the flow test the sensors have to come out and it has to go into a kiln and it's and it's heated up really really hot and then it goes back through the flow test uh, and once it passes the flow test, we know we're fine to be able to fit it to the vehicle. Now going back to another one of my videos regarding um, the, the running temperature of a DPF or an AdBlue vehicle. This this bad boy has got a blue temperature sensor that, that lights the dash and that's to tell you that the engine's too cold to drive. Now that should have been fitted on all the Nissan DPF vehicles, but it hasn't. Um, but I'll show you once this is up and running, the blue light. So once this blue light's out, it means that the engine's up to, up to optimum temperature and it's, and it's more fuel efficient to drive. Um, so what else can I share with you in this video? Not much. All I can say is thanks for watching. Give us a like. If you need my help and assistance, my contact details are in the description below. Thanks for watching and come again.